Donkey Shelter. We're going to talk about trailer loading your donkey today. Why? Because sometimes you have to take your donkey to another location. Maybe in an emergency, maybe a natural, natural disaster. Maybe you have to take your donkey to the vet or maybe you just want to have some fun and go hiking up in the mountains. And when you do that, you want to make sure that your donkey loads on cue and that you're not spending a lot of time getting them to load. When we trailer load, we have to look at the trailer from the viewpoint of the donkey. Remember, donkeys have a very strong self-preservation instinct, so they don't want to do anything that they think could result in injury or death. When they see a trailer, it looks like a narrow, dark cave, and they're not sure what's at the end of that cave. They don't know if they can get out. They don't even know if the floor is solid. They see the black, but it could be really flimsy and they could fall through. So if we look at the trailer from their perspective, then we can help them overcome that fear of the trailer. When you're practicing trailer loading a donkey, you never ever want to use a trailer that's not hooked up to a truck. That could be dangerous in the pulling aspect from the donkey. They could pull the trailer, they could injure themselves, they could injure you. So always have it hooked up to a truck. Ideally, you want your donkey to be able to load themselves with a forward cue. And you want to do it that way so that you don't have to get in the trailer too. Because some trailers are not really conducive to having a human in at the same time the animals are in. So we're going to give her a forward cue and see if we can get her to load. In order for a donkey to load, they have to be looking in the trailer and concentrating on the trailer. You can see that she was looking at other things and wasn't really concentrating. Good job. Once the donkey's in the trailer, you want to reward them. Good girl. If the donkey's nervous and wants to exit, let them exit. Let them use their comfort level of how long they want to stay. And then as you keep repeating, you can have them stay in longer to increase their, their comfort level. Good job, Miss Tango. Good job. Ideally, what you want your donkey to do is you want them to load on their own with a forward cue so that you don't have to go in the trailer. Because some trailers aren't really conducive to have a human being and the equine in at the same time. So, Mesa, Mesa, load up. That's the ideal. Now we're going to show you how you get there. job. Once the donkey is in the trailer, if he feels comfortable, let him stand inside the trailer and see, see that it, nothing hurts him, touches him, bites him, cuts him. Let him look out, let him get used to this environment so that he's comfortable in here. If the donkey's nervous, let him leave whenever he wants to leave, at least on the first try. But when a donkey leaves the trailer, it's not a running, escaping, it's a calm exit from the trailer. Reward the donkey for making a calm unloading. Good job, good job, good job. Repeat. Load up. So this donkey is not doing it on his own. Load with 
with a little bit of human forward pressure. Good boy. Reward him inside the trailer. Show him what behavior you wanted by giving him a physical praise and reward. Unload calmly. This is Stuart. He's a miniature donkey. And don't be led to believe that just because they're miniature, they load better or worse. They're just miniature donkeys. Give them a forward cue. Load up. Load up. Sometimes donkeys have to smell the floor to make sure it's solid before they're willing to go in. That's what Stuart is doing right now. Load up. it has to be their idea. By that, I don't mean that we're going to talk to him about it and try to convince him. What we're going to do is we're going to let him figure out that the easiest way to get the pressure off his head is to do the thing that we want him to do. And so if he's got a forward on his head and he doesn't like it, he will find out that if he moves forward, the pressure is released. In the process of figuring that out, the donkey may resist, pull back, try to avoid, find another answer, find an escape, and try to get out of the thing you want him to do. But ultimately, donkeys are very smart, and he'll figure out that the only way to get the pressure off is to jump up in the trailer. Despite his short legs, this is not a big leap for a donkey. He can do it. works just as well too. Good job! Good job! Dismount is a calm exit from the trailer. It's not a running or hysterical action. It's just a calm walking out. Many sometimes make it a little more dramatic. Typical mini. But he did it. Good praise. Good. Now repeat. without rear pressure. in the trailer without us. We're going to let the trailer put the pressure on him. Load up. <laughs> so sometimes a difficult 
donkey, it can take them as much as 25 minutes to decide that they're willing to move forward to get the pressure off. And as long as they're not hurting themselves or bumping against the trailer, there's nothing wrong with that. So if you spend 25 minutes this first time having him resist the pressure, the second time it'll take five minutes, the third time it'll take 45 seconds, and the fifth time he'll load himself. Hoping is stressed. Mm.